Hello, welcome to Genius Kiddies channel, a channel dedicated to giving you educative content that will help build your children's mathematical skill. So, I want you to subscribe, like, and share. Make sure you spread it far and wide so that children within this age range can benefit children mostly in primary school uh, today we'll be going through another lesson and it's simply addition and subtraction of decimal one thing about this topic children make some mistakes and mostly because they do not know, understand how to arrange they are good with their addition skill they are good with their subtraction skill but arrangement happens to be the major, major reason why some people fail this particular topic. So as I explained today, just pay attention and, and as you pay attention, you will get to understand. So let's get to it. You can see that there are some examples already on the board that we'll be working with. I gave some on addition and I gave some on subtraction. So let's get to it. Uh, we starting with the addition. Let's go to solution. So we are going to be in addition. We are going to arrange our our numbers in order. We are going to ensure that the decimal points are aligned. The decimal points are aligned. They are going to be on the same line. No matter how we are arranging, make sure your decimal points are arranged. The same line. So I'll start with 12. No, 12 is a whole number, it's not a decimal. Then followed by 0 0.005. This is going to be 12.0 because it's a whole number. So once you have that, then you go to 2.1. I believe you can see what I'm doing. I'm making sure, even though my uh, numbers are not arranged in order, I am making sure that my decimal points are aligned. Now I move on to 0 0.7. I have been able to do 12 plus 0 0.05 plus 2.1 and 0 0.7. Then I can draw the line to add up. So I usually will advise parents and children to fill up so that they won't get confused. You can, zero in mathematics still means nothing. So whether I add zero to it or not, it's still going to mean the same thing. So I just use zero to fill up the empty spaces. Most important thing is that I have make sure my decimal are aligned. So then if I have done that, I can now add. With this, there will be no confusion at all. 5 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is going to give us 5. It's not changing anything. 0 down here is 0. 1 plus 7 is 8. Point. 2 plus 2 is 4. 1 plus 0 is 1. So my final answer is 14.805. That is the addition of these uh, decimals that are arranged up here. Let's go through the question two. We have 47.35. Don't forget what I said, that your decimal point is what you are going to be focused on. Ensure that they are arranged, followed by 0 0.96. Then we go to 2.305, then 1.42. The moment you are able to arrange and your decimals are aligned, then you can decide to fill up the empty spaces with zero. It makes no difference. It makes no difference because it's still zero, it's still nothing. So you are just doing this to get yourself to make it look like what you would want it to look like. So we have 5 plus 0 is 5. 5 plus 6 is 
11 plus 2 is 13. Then we have our 1. 3 plus 9 is 12. Plus 3 is 15. Plus 4 is 19. Then plus 1 here is 20. Then I have my 2 here. 7 plus 2 is 9. Plus 1 is 10. Plus 2 is 12. Don't forget your decimal points. Then I have my 1 here. 1 plus 4, that is 5. So my final answer for the second addition is 52.035. I hope you are enjoying this lesson. If you are, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, like, and share. Junior Skiddies at your service. So let's continue. Now I move on to subtraction. Now we have 7 whole number minus 1.6. The same way we treated this 12 whole number, we have 7.0 minus 1.6. You can see, I aligned my decimal. That's how it works with addition and subtraction. So, I have this one to be 6, I borrow one from here. So, 10 minus 6, that's 4. 6 minus 1, that's 5. In all, in this, you can see that 7.0 minus 1.6 is... 5.4. Then I go to the next one. It has 8.2. Take away 2.372. I've told you, do not mind whether it is not aligned. Just make sure your decimal point is aligned. Okay, so add your zero to fill up. Then you can do your normal subtraction. Borrow one from here, this is remaining one. This is 10. Borrow one again from here, this is 10. 10 take away two, that's eight. Nine take away seven, that's two. Then, this is one take away three, it's not possible. Borrow one from here, you have 11 here. 11 take away three, uh, three that's eight. Then we have your decimal point. Seven take away two, that's five. So my final answer is 5.828. So that is the second subtraction. I have the third one and the last one on my board. I am still going to solve it the same way I did this. 1.025 minus 1.01. You can see that the method is the same. I'm just making sure that my decimal points align. Once they are aligned, you cannot miss it. You can't. So 5 take away 0 is 5. 2 take away 1 is 1. 0 take away 0 is 0. Decimal point in its place. 1 take away 1 is 0. So the final answer here is 0 0.015. Zero. So this brings us to the end of this particular lesson, addition and subtraction of fraction. Just calm down and watch this video step by step, follow the direction and you will definitely not miss it. Till I come your way again next time, make sure you like, subscribe and share this video. Subscribe to our channel so that you can keep getting educative content. Uh, uh, genius kiddies at your service. Thank you.